Does this feel like summer or what? Got the Van Halen t-shirt on and we've got a new beer from Daya. This is called, do we have a 3D asset for the crock? It's an IPA, it's 6.5%. But is this stunning can artwork gonna live up to the taste of this beer? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. What I meant to say in the intro was, will the taste of this beer live up to the can? Not will the can live up to the taste, because it's quite a striking can. Um, obviously, we've got the crock there, some sort of 3D image thing. And this is a an IPA at 6.5%. And it is, says here, delving into the dank mosaic galaxy and enigma, a heavy hitting trio providing an unapologetic piff and green next to ripe tropical fruit aromas. Sounds interesting, looks like it'd be a real dank sort of beer. The thing is with Daya, I think, is I think they've I think they've dropped the you know, they've uh, they've dropped the ball a little bit really. And then last summer when I went to the Daya uh tap room, they were, you know, the beers that I had there were really good. I bought the cans, brought them back, drank them as well, really, really good. And I was like, and it it made me think Daya, they're my top brewery, you know, they're they're in my top three breweries. But I haven't had anything from them really since. There's a couple of things I've had from them at the back end of last year, but this year I've had, I've been disappointed with a lot of their stuff. Yeah, I've had a few pal hours that are not quite up to up to measure really. And I don't think their pal hours are always as good as their IPAs. And even the IPAs I've had, not quite the same, not as creamy, not that sort of day of mouthfeel. So we'll see what this one is has in store because if it's, if this one starts getting a little, if it's, if it starts like the other ones, then, you know, Daya could fall out my top three. I mean, there's some really great breweries sitting on the outside of that top three. Overtone being the one that really sort of comes to mind. But so we'll see what this is like. Can it be up to the sort of Daya standards that we expect? First things first, you know, can we get that mouthfeel back? Because a lot of these beers don't seem as creamy as if they've changed the, the yeast or the oats profile. So beer in a glass... Well, we've got, what, two two fingers of uh, compacted white head. We've got a sort of very hazy, yellowy coloured beer. But again, not as thick as some of the IPAs that we've had from them. It's, it's a lovely looking colour, looks good. And let's see what the aroma's like. Well, the aroma is, is pretty special, actually. Big hits of tropical fruit, obviously mango being a big hitter there. It smells a little bit dank, a little bit sweaty, you know, over-ripened fruits. We've got mango and passion fruit in there, papaya. And quite a bit of grapefruit there. It smells pretty good and, and it's your, your nose is going on a journey with it. And you know what? It's getting a taste buds going, so I'm quite looking forward to this. So cheers, everyone. Well, I'm glad to say that is that's back to some of the great day of beers. Carbonation, a little bit prickly at first, but then that sort of, as soon as you think, oh, it's a little bit over the carbonated. But then you get this wash of sort of creaminess in terms of that mouthfeel. The, the mouthfeel sort of develops as you drink it. You're getting huge hits of mango, apricot, papaya and passion fruit. They're the big sort of flavors. And then you get a little bit of citrus, then you get a little bit of grapefruit, but there's n it's not as overly dank as maybe I thought it may be. Um, certainly it still tastes very sort of fresh and quite zesty. That creamy mouthfeel really helps things though. Oh, it's so drinkable. That is the sort of beer that you drink one and you think, I've got to drink it again, it's that good. There's a little bit of a little bit of dankness, but it's almost just perfect for me. You know, just that sort of level where you're getting all that fruit and all that sort of pulp and pith and stuff from the from the fruit itself. But it doesn't sort of outstay its welcome. It doesn't get to that point where it sort of coats the mouth too much. It's still quite. I don't know whether it's the mouthfeel that does it. It's that creaminess about it. it gives it a little bit, quite a little bit more sweetness. And then you get lime and grapefruit. 
a bit of grape and melon gooseberry even on the back end and and then that grapefruit comes in looking at the hops you know mosaic we know a lot about mosaic you know the other sort of berry bubble gummy sort of can be quite a sort of dank sort of flavor galaxy you know is a is a tr big tropical australian hop that does get all that sort of mango but enigma we don't see it that often and enigma is another southern hemisphere um hop <sighs> And it just feels like that's doing some all the heavy lifting. Here. It's giving it, it's sort of keeping the other two hops in check so it doesn't go over dank, but it just gives this huge tropical flavour that's just zesty and citrusy at the same time. But again, I'm, what I'm really happy with is that Daya seems to have got the mouthfeel back to how I expect today. It's a unique thing that Daya mouthfeel, and this has got it. You know, it's not, it's not that point where it's a little bit thin. It's not that point where it's it doesn't it, it, it they're too carbonated or it's just too light it's just perfect just what you want from an ipa so this one dayer ipa is called you know it's quite a, a, a big title do we have a 3d asset for the croc i'm sure there's a story behind that maybe they were going to do some sort of i don't know a three-dimensional toy or whatever and they needed an asset and that's what it's all about i don't know but i mean this is a great beer Enigma, Mosaic and Galaxy work in absolute unison together to create a really good beer. And it's got that day of mouth feel. I think this is going to be a highly recommended beer. But let's get the scores to find out, shall we? Okay, the scores are in for Dea's IPA at 6.5%. It's called, do we have a 3D asset for the croc with Enigma, Mosaic, Galaxy? It's back to day is best, and this is a very good beer. Start with aroma. We knew from the blurb that we're going to get sort of, and the sort of hops, we're going to get a lot of, a bit of dankness in there. And there is that, but it's almost sweet as well. There's a lot of sweet fruits in there. So you get a sweet mango, a little bit overripe, and a little bit of apricot in there. There's papaya and passion fruit as well. There's an inkling i suppose of a little bit of um of the citrus fruit certainly you're getting grapefruit in that aroma but it's what it is it's got it's got one of those magic sort of aromas that makes you that makes you go mm, i want to drink it now really want to drink it and it's definitely got that real sort of gets those taste buds going so i'm giving it 16 for aroma it's a really good smelling beer this one appearance wise well it's a it's an hazy IPA. I mean, you've got some really nice lace in because we've got quite a creamy sort of beer. It's a, ni it's a nice colour, not as thick looking as some, not as custody. It's more of a sort of light gold, yellowy colour, but it's still pretty good. I get it 8 out of 10. Flavour wise, well, like the aroma, you're going on this great journey of like stone fruit flavours, tropical flavours of papaya and passion fruit coming into those, to those sort of mango and apricot and peach flavours it's wrapped up in this creaminess when you first put it to your lips you think oh there's quite a little bit of zippy carbonation but then you get this wave almost of creaminess as you're sort of drinking it down and that just gives it and there's a little combined with the sort of sweetness just just makes the mouth feel absolutely spot on and it's you know they are always famous you look at any sort of beer reviewers and they're reviewing they they're gonna say yeah it's got that very Daya sort of mouthfeel. And this to me is back to Daya's great mouthfeel that I had as those beers last year. So I think I think really good in terms of mouthfeel. The flavours are all there. Then you get a little bit of sort of little a little brushing of sort of citrusy fruits, like like a little bit of lemon and more maybe the lime. And then you've got this grapefruit that just sort of sits there on the back end. We know that it says it's going to be dank. So you have that expectation of it, but it's not as overly dank and and, and sort of overripe and fruit flavoured uh, as, as some beers can be, especially if you look at when you're going towards the sort of double IPAs of these sort of with these sort of hops. It's just about dank enough to get those sort of juicy flavours and the flavours that's hold holding on the palate and stick around for a bit. But they don't, but there's still a fresh sort of zestiness to it as it sort of goes down. And it's very, very drinkable. It's it's a really really um smooth sort of beer that and with all those fruit flavors but it doesn't overdo it on the, on the flavoring so i'm going to 35 for flavor value for money this was uh, i think 4.95 but of course it's in a big 500 mil can which we love from daya um it's a solid ad eight out of ten for me and my overall experience well 
Yeah, I'm start I'm starting to get nervous about Day of Beers. But maybe they've lose, lost their consistency. But when they get it right, oh boy, do they get it right. And this is a really good beer. I'm going to hold the can up again so you can see it. So it's a fairly new one, this. Um, so I've not seen any other reviews for it. Uh, do we have a 3D asset for the croc? Quite a distinctive name. An IPA, as I said, Enigma, Galaxy and uh, Mosaic. Not free hops that you see that often. I'm going to start looking and finding Enigma because there's something about it. I think there's something different about Enigma that's doing well for these these beers. But my overall experience for this beer, I'm giving it 16 because I think it's a really good beer and it's back to day as best. Tighten the scores up. Well, the score says it all. 83. That's a highly recommended Iron Maiden beer. The heaviest of heavy metal. They are back, you know. I'm still a little, you know, I'm not completely, you know, you don't take one beer and go, oh yeah, they're back. That's it. All their beers are going to be great now. I will still try and buy a Daya pretty much every month. I look out for the Dayas because, you know, if you're near your top three brewery, you want, you want to drink more of them, don't you? Um, and maybe that's it. There's a little bump in the road or maybe they just tried something different and it just hasn't sort of agreed with me as much. But if they can make beers consistently like this, they still offer something a bit different. But at the same time, there's that day of mouthfeel that's for me is just, you know, it's just sort of like, it should be trademarked, it's that good. Um, this is a very good beer. And 83 is a highly recommended. We seem to have some some of these good, very good beers this month in, the, in, the, in this hall. Um, and this one is no exception. So, hope you like this video. That's it for me today. I'm going to just drink this and enjoy some sunshine. Uh, it's bank holiday weekend here. Um, and yeah, I just want to sort of sit back and enjoy this and sort of contemplate... I'm probably going to go on the internet and say, well, what else have they got out recently? I, I might have to buy them next month. You know, I, I almost, as soon as I get my beers every month, I think well, we've got them in the fridge. So let's see which ones we can get next month. That's what it's like for me. You know, I, 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 I eat, drink, sleep beer all the time, looking at beer, reading about beer, and more importantly, and the best part of it, drinking beer. So until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Keep on rocking.